Hello, this is Kasturi De speaking on plant and animal tissues according to ICC syllabus class 7. We know that the cells is the cell is a structural and functional unit of life. All living organisms like plants and animals are made up of tiny microscopic cells. The cells whether that of a unicellular organism or a multicellular organism consists of protoplasm, the living substance, which is the living substance. We also know that there are various organelles present inside the cell. These organelles are arranged in a highly organized manner to perform specific functions. Cells organized to perform, to form tissues, tissues organized to form organs, organs organized to form organ system and the organ systems organized to form the body that is the plant or the animal body. The bodies of plant and animals are organized structures and are therefore called organisms. Now the tissues. This is the thing which we have studied in class 6. Now we start we are coming to the actual chapter that is the tissues. A, tissues are a group of cells which are similar in structure and perform a specific function for form a tissue. Okay, a group of cells which are, are similar in structure and perform a specific function, they form a tissue. Example, the surface cells of a skin form one tissue that is the skin tissue. The cells institute uh, constituting muscles like contractile muscles constitute the muscle tissue. The green cells of a leaf form one tissue. The wood forming cells of the stem constitute another tissue. Now the tissues we will classify the tissues into two forms that is plant and animal tissues. Two different types of tissues. The plant tissues are of two types meristematic and permanent. Meristematic tissues actively divide whereas permanent tissues they do not divide. Now the permanent tissues are of two types simple permanent and complex permanent. Simple permanent are of two types, protecting and supporting. And supporting tissues, supporting permanent tissues are of three types. That is parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Whereas the permanent tissues, a complex permanent tissues, there is of two types, xylem and phloem. Now the animal tissues are divided into four types epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. Epithelial tissues are a squamous, cuboidal, columnar and ciliated. Connective tissues are of supportive, fibrous and fluid. Supportive tissues are cartilage and bone tissue. Fibrous tissues are areolar, adipose, tendons and ligaments. Fluid tissues are blood and limp. Musculous tissues are of three types, striated, unstriated and cardiac. And the last is the nervous tissue. Now the plant tissues like the meristematic tissues, they are made up of actively dividing cells. Only the function of these cells is to produce more cells leading to the growth of the plant body found at all growing point in a plant like the tip of the roots, stems and branches where growth is length occurs. It is also responsible for the growth in the thickness of the stem. The main characteristics of these cells, meristematic tissue cells, are the cells are small, the cell walls are thin, the nuclei are large and conspicuous. The cells are almost without vacuoles. The cells actively divide to add new cells. Now the permanent tissues. Permanent tissues 
they form the bulk of the plant body they do not divide as i told you earlier became they become specialized and remain some through same throughout their life new cells are formed when the meristematic cells divide these newly formed cells grow mature and get differentiated into various types of permanent tissues these permanent tissues are of two types as i told you earlier it's a simple permanent and complex permanent simple permanent their function is to provide support and protection they are of different types like protective tissues they consist of cells with thick walls they are found on the surface of the roots stems and leaves example epidermis of the leaves which secrete a waxy waterproof substance the supporting tissue parenchyma supporting tissue is are also of different types and first of all first one is of parenchyma it is composed of large thin walled cells usually with intercellular spaces the living cells at maturity and found in the soft parts of the plant they store food material for the plant then provide temporary support to the plant and its example is potato composed of parenchyma cells some parenchyma cells are contain chlorophyll as in the leaf for the manufacture of food now colenchyma colenchyma is the composed of elongated cells with unevenly thickened cell walls at the edges with little intercellular spaces between the cells they are living cells at maturity they are also living cells at maturity they are found in the leaf stalks and below the end epidermis of the stem they are in the petioles veins of the leaves and young stems they provide a flexible mechanical support to the plant parts now sclerenchyma they are composed of long narrow and thick wall cells with no intercellular spaces they are the dead cells at maturity they are found in the stems and veins of the leaves mostly as fibers in the mature parts of the plant like they, uh, they are found in the wood bark etc now they provide a rigid mechanical and structural support to the plant okay now the complex permanent tissues they are also called conducting tissues or vascular tissues okay they provide a passage for the transport of materials in the plant they are of two types xylem and phloem now the xylem they are formed of thick walled cells and tubular and often dead cells the cells are placed end to end the partitions between the cells dissolve to form long channels for the transport of water and minerals they consist of tracheids vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers now xylem tra cells transport water and mineral minerals absorbed by the roots from the soil upwards to the leaves this water is used in preparing glucose during photosynthesis as or lost as water vapor in the in transpiration process old xylem forms the wood and does not participate in the transport of the food xylem rings indicate the age of the stem now phloem form of living tubular cells which provide a passage for the downward and upward movement of the food manufactured in the leaves to various parts of the plant like bidirectional conduction they consist of sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers these are the parenchymata cells we have intercellular spaces large intercellular spaces are there okay this is the colenchyma cells these are the sclerenchymata cells with thick walls and this is the xylem old xylem it's a diagrammatic representation of the cross section of 3 year old wood stem three concentric rings of xylem indicating its age 
these are the annual rings which we find which indicates if we count them we indicate the age okay these are the rays this is the pit portion and this is the cambium layer okay now this is the end of the plant tissues in the next video i'll come with the animal tissues